This video is about the analysis of a single stage operational amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. Here I have placed the PMOS and NMOS transistors to form a single stage operational amplifier. These two transistors act as a current mirror made up of PMOS. These two transistors act as a differential amplifier and these two tail transistors act as a current mirror. The width and length of the PMOS and NMOS are chosen randomly as width is 2 micrometer for these two transistors and the length is 400 nanometers. Similarly, for these two transistors, the width is 2 micrometer and the length is 400. Similarly, it is applicable to these transistors. Now, this single stage operational amplifier is driven by a DC source followed by the DC current IDC place the ground. The supply voltage is of 1.8 volts either you can go for 2.5 as well. With this 1.8 volt the DC current that is drawn by this current mirror is I have selected it as 164 micro amperes the same current has to be there at the this tail transistors and this current will be equally divided by these two 164 microamps divided by this path as well as this path and these two get collected to get a total current of 164 microamperes. We get the output at this point. Call this as V out. This single stage op amp drives a capacitive load which is of either 1 picofarad or 2 picofarad. Right now I am driving it for 1 picofarad. This differential amplifier or pair should be provided with the inputs. So go to the instance from the analog library, select VSign. Place the grounds. Connect this input. This is the inverting input and taking this as non inverting. For that case, place the label VN VP. VN for inverting, VP for non inverting check and save the design you need to provide the parameters for these two sources select this source for transient analysis provide the ac magnitude to 1 millivolt only for transient analysis 
if i am performing the sorry this is for ac analysis ac magnitude for ac analysis and to perform the transient analysis use the amplitude to 1 millivolt and frequency of 10k or 1 kilohertz these two parameters amplitude and frequency is used for transient for ac this is used and provide an offset voltage of 0 0.9 volt which is 900 millivolt half of the supply voltage since this is inverting just provide the offset voltage as 0 0.9 that's all check and save the design then go to the launch click on adl and you can add different types of analysis here edit first let us complete the dc analysis dc just click on save dc operating point click ok then i am not plotting anything just click on netlist and run simulation is done you can find the node voltages but i want to see the operating points dc operating points for that go to the results and annotate annotate dc operating point you can see how the transistors are working even you can show the region of operation of these transistors the total current I have set is 164, but I am getting a current of 145, which is from this 72, 72, and this is also 72, 72, but the given current is of 164 microamperes. Here you are getting 164, but similarly you should get it for 164 micro. You can Optimize the width of this transistor to get a current of 164, same as that. You can click on this symbol, annotation setup, which we can get it from edit or view annotation setup click on pmos here it is showing the gm you can add one more parameter i want to see what is the region so select the region of pmos apply in the similar manner for nmos select the region right now we don't have any regions here double click on it select the region apply you can see that the region okay you can see that these two transistors are in region 2 which we can call it as saturation region but this transistor is in linear region you have to change this transistor from linear to saturation from region 1 to region 2 next we'll move for ac analysis select the ac start from 1 to 10 megahertz click on okay let me disable this 
then netlist and run so analysis is completed go to the results direct plot ac gain and phase select the v out followed by p in so this plot shows the phase margin and the gain of the single stage operational amplifier you can just split this and find what is the gain of this this is the phase in degrees and this one is the gain in db so it has a gain of 26.55 db now let us move to the transient analysis right click edit go to the tran then click up to 2 seconds let me simulate this up to 2 or you can click up to 5 click apply okay let me disable this and plot the v out as well as v in click on okay i'm performing only the transient analysis click on netlist and run gradually it is moving from milliseconds to towards the seconds so this is the typical response for a transient analysis so it shows that since it is a differential op amp both will be in out of phase so same this is the vp it is being out of phase and if you observe that the output is in volt here the input is in millivolt so you can calculate the number of times it has amplified 